Good job, everyone. I'm very proud of you. Go home and rest up. We'll be able to start painting tomorrow. Oh, shit. I forgot my water bottle. Bob, can you open it back up? Oh, of course. Was that our back window that just got busted? I believe so. What, no registers? Seriously? We have not installed them yet. Well, don't. You're smart enough to try a robbery before the cameras are installed. Don't be dumb enough to start shooting. Give me your wallets and I walk away. I don't think you'd be asking that if you knew who you were talking to. Dumb and dumber? You haven't been able to curse anyone all day. Did you want to? I actually have not been here long enough to establish this as my domain. Without his name, I cannot curse him. Oh, shit. Um, okay. You get behind me. No, that's not necessary. I'm comfortable like this. You are less than two feet away from a gun pointed at your face. So unless you're telling me that another fairy ability is being bulletproof. Hey, I always get too close. So primitive. Um, okay, problem solved. We getting the cops involved? Possibly. I would like to know why you're robbing honest citizens. Guy's gotta feed his family. Of course, but I am wondering how feeding your family required you robbing all the other small businesses around town who can barely afford to feed themselves. Well... You're the reason my girlfriends had to work overtime with their coven selling protective charms for everyone. Sounds like I did her a favor then. So no. Uh uh. I'll not kill a man for this, and we will be calling the police. And in case you decide to try this again, the floors and walls are enchanted to cause ill fortune to any who cause misfortune to us. Don't say a word, just scuttle. Not the best omen. Nah, but at least we got a free gun out of it. I'm giving it to the law dogs when we call them and give them the description of our guest. They'll probably get some fingerprints off of this. Morning, boss. Cops got that robber you and JC caught last week. Arrested him about an hour ago. Oh, good. Perhaps now everyone can breathe a sigh of relief. Jennifer Charles, you're early. And you brought Nicole. Bob, what the hell? I beg your pardon? I can't get them to see sense, so it's your turn. Ha! <laughs> This'll be good. I explicitly told both of you that I did not want magic messing around with my future. And I didn't. So that leaves Bob. I haven't cast any enchantments on you since helping you change your name. Bullshit. Fairies, Fairies cannot, cannot lie. lie. What brought this on? Here. Two-year college program I applied to got back to me. This is an acceptance letter. And they're offering you a full scholarship. Holy shit, really? Give me that. Being angry at something like this isn't a typical reaction as far as I know. It is not. Because I told you guys that I wanted to fail or succeed on my own merits. No magic. So who did it? I did nothing. I also did not interfere. Don't look at me. I suck at magic. I haven't tried to cast anything other than a glamour in weeks. What about Lindsay? Maybe she thought she still needs to do some sort of redemption thing. Or Mike? Jennifer Charles. Is it so hard to believe that you managed something remarkable purely on your own merit? It, well... I'm being an asshole, aren't I? Yes. A little bit. Okay. Sorry. You can make it up to me by making sure renovations are done on time. You can make it up to me by getting me caffeine. Starbucks will do until we're ready to go. Okay. Sorry. Insecurity suck. Don't do it again, and I can't get a hot chocolate yet, can I? Nope. The espresso machine with its milk steamer has not been put in yet. Well, now it really is a bad day. We're putting down the final layer of paint today. Did you want to write some swears on the wall? Yeah. Good afternoon, Nicole. I'm afraid the cafe is still closed to business, but Jennifer Charles will be starting their lunch break soon. Did they properly apologize for yesterday's ugliness? They did. Made me dinner, gave me a massage, and let me paint their nails. 
We were going to do the nails anyway, but it was still nice. Good. Are they going to be taking advantage of that scholarship? I had to poke them a little, but yes. I mostly came by to give you these. What's this? I made them. I've moved from emotions to abstract portraits. That one is you, the other is Cyrus. I wasn't sure if you wanted them in the new cafe or in your house. These are lovely, Nicole. How much? They're gifts. If your fairy upbringing won't let that slide, you can give me free drinks for a while. Yes, I will. Cyrus, get the ladder. I'm hanging these on the walls. All right, the cafe is clean, painted, and completely set up. All furniture and equipment are in its place. The only thing missing is perhaps a bit more decor, but that's low priority. We have three days, so let's do some proper drink and baking training. Don't spit in the cups. Everything else is secondary. Can we move on to something a little more advanced than that? Like, how do we steam the milk without blowing up the espresso machine? What the hell is an arcane rush? And can I use my fire breath to... Do not use fire breath. It'll scorch the milk anyway. Oh, it would have been so cool. We'll show you all the basics. Drek, I know you're just starting as a dishwasher, but do pay attention. We may ask you to come up for particularly hectic shifts. Earbuds are in. I am focused and good. Okay, so this is the kitchen, obviously. We're still figuring out the quirks of all the ovens and stovetops, but they seem to do what they say. I want to pre-make as much dough as possible and then store them in this fridge, so that way we have a quicker time whipping up the goodies the day of. That fridge over there has the non-baked stuff, like the fudge oat bars. Once they're solid, we can just cut them up into bars and they're ready to go. Is there any difference between the red trays and the regular ones? Yeah, red trays are gluten-free. If you do end up helping me make these, make sure you wash your hands and put on gloves to reduce cross-contaminating. Obviously, make sure to cover everything so they don't go stale. Oh, those are those delicious brownies you made for us yesterday. You know, if you tap the bottom of the tray, you won't get air bubbles when you bake it. I know that now. And three, two, one, go. What is going on out here? Oh, it's a latte cappuccino mocha race. They each have to make all three as quick as possible. Not only do they have to be fast, but they also have to taste good. Quality is more important than speed, but in the event of a tie, speed will be the dividing factor. Also, this way, we each get a drink to try. It'd go better with a snack. We'll wait for the results first. I only pair my goods with quality. Done. Hurry up, slowpoke. Nope, these drinks are going to be freaking perfect. Congrats, Raythu. You worked faster than a legal child. Suck the fun right out of it, why don't you? Okay, now they're done. To Cafe Latte. To Cafe Latte! Latte. Latte. Drek, you forgot the chocolate with mocha. Dang it! Welcome to the grand reopening of Cafe Latte. Oh, thank fuck. I don't know how I made it the last two weeks you were gone. I've got a double shift and I need an arcane rush. Please and thank you. On it. Oh, Donna, look at all these new muffins they got. And scones! They're selling scones now! If it ain't biscuits and gravy, it ain't a proper breakfast. But this'll do on the go. Could I get two dozen of these for the boys at the station? Will they last a few days? They'll last even longer if you keep them in a Ziploc, which I will give you. I assume you want a wide selection? Yeah. Who's Nia? Could you throw another couple of trays of scones in the oven for me, please? Yeah, I know. Third time today already. Here is your arcane caffeinated abomination. Good luck with your shift. Next. Wow. I think that is the longest I have ever had to wait in line in this place. David, lovely to see you again. How are you? Pretty good, now that I have some decent coffee back in my life. What's with the sign here? A neighbor's account? Oh, that's Jennifer Charles' suggestion. If you have no funding and want a baked good and or coffee, place the order and ask to charge the neighbor's account. Oh, so you give it away for free? Actually, other customers pay for it. If you like, you can donate any amount you wish to the neighbor's account. Oh. Pfft. Well, that's dumb. You're gonna get scammed, lady. Even if that were a viable threat, what a sad scam. You don't know my financial situation. I could order a freebie and have a million dollars in my account, for all you know. Yes, you could, absolutely. And I would not care. That poor behavior reflects on you, not me. For every asshole like you, there's at least ten people like me who really could have used something like that. Or me. There was a time, right after we got married, where we couldn't afford groceries. The only thing we ate was the fish we caught in the lake by the base camp. And the only fish in that lake were trapped. For six weeks, that is all we ate. And my wife, she did her damn best to make it as interesting and different as possible, but 
There's only so much you can do. That was 40 years ago. And any time I so much as smell a trout, I throw up in my mouth a little bit. Oh, I, I willfully forgot about that. I'd have killed for a neighbor's account at the local cafe or restaurant or, or anything. Anything other than those damn fish. Okay, but you pulled yourself up from your bootstraps. This is just a handout and why people are so damn entitled these days. Yeah, how dare we ask for healthy living conditions. Darling, you can't pull yourself up by your bootstraps. That's saying starter because it's physically impossible to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You need a helping hand. That's why my yarn circle and I make and give away free hats, scarves, mittens, and sweaters when it starts getting cold out. You need a community to thrive. That's the whole point of human civilization. A little help here and there is fine, but if you can't clothe or feed yourself, that's on you. I know it's just day one, but... Have you been here long enough to establish this new spot as your domain so you can start? Not quite. I think I need another day or two. Fortunately for this gentleman, who I imagine is quite miserable all on his own. I am not. I have friends. Do you? Whatever. Enjoy getting scammed. What a prick. I'll take a medium coffee and add $10 to that neighbor account.